What's going on here, Dennis? Oh, this is interesting. Wow. In Amish country, you have one room schoolhouses, or how does this work? First grader could be sitting here, and the sixth grader could be sitting up there. Did you know some LeBron James? That name pops up, it comes in the paper. That's a uh, natural gas light. No school bus. No school bus. These are pretty aggressive teeter totters. They are. <laughs> no American flag. We're completely free from government. Cute little outhouse. So, what's different about the Amish curriculum? Are you familiar with the U.S. curriculum? We start the day off in the morning with the Lord's Prayer. Kids want to get on phones, devices, yeah. social media. Getting relationship advice out here, too. My children coming after me, mm -hmm. where do I want them to be in 30 years from now? Where do you want them to be? Right. All right. All right, so what's going on here, Dennis? Right now, it's not a whole lot. In the summertime, um, everything's pastured in, and the neighbor okay. puts his horses in here. So this is an Amish school, though? Yes, this is an Amish parochial school. It was established back in 1980. Okay. And started out as just the original red brick building. Uh-huh. Four years ago, we built the addition on it. Okay. The horse is the lawnmowers? They're basically the lawnmowers, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can we go inside? Yeah. So in Amish country, you have one-room schoolhouses, or how does this work? It's a one-room schoolhouse. And yep. then what grades? And first through eighth. There are eight grades in here. It kind of consists of anywhere from 10 to 17 parents, families, okay. right okay. in the neighborhood. And they sent their children here and put them under the teacher. All right. I taught four grades, and she had four grades. So how does that work when you have such different age age levels and grades. Um, oh, this is interesting, wow. You basically have to learn everything. Okay, so walk me through it. A first grader could be sitting here and the sixth grader could be sitting up there? Yes, last term, this was my side. We closed the curtains up. Oh, okay, um, so you section it off. Yeah, we section it gotcha. off. Gotcha. And my first graders, they get the smaller desks. There were three little girls. Okay. Two, there's another somewhere. And then I had fourth grade. They were probably in the little bit bigger ones. And seventh and eighth are the older students. Okay. Okay, so how does it work? This is outside the federal school system, or how does it work? Everything is, uh, we're completely free from government. We don't receive any funding. Everything is out of our own pockets. Oh. Uh, I mean, we pay a lot to the uh, public schools through real mm -hmm. estate taxes, but we kind of, we wanted to stay separate. Okay. So you're still paying taxes to the federal government. We do. But you don't get the benefit of we the public don't get school. The benefits. Okay. But that's by choice. You want to have your own schooling. Mm -hmm. Can we walk over here? Yes. Right? So what's different about the Amish curriculum? I'm sure there's a lot of religion in it, obviously. Yes. Um, or are you familiar with the U.S. curriculum? the state curriculum? Not where it is now. I okay. went four years to public school. Okay. So there are Amish students that go to public school. Okay. And, but yeah, it's changed a lot up until now. But we have the basic math, vocabulary, English, spelling. Mm -hmm. uh, we teach some German. But everything is Christian-based. Okay. Um, we start the day off in the morning with the Lord's Prayer. Okay then a Bible story, then we file into the entrance, line up and sing three songs. Can we go over there? Yeah. Okay. And no American flag? No American flag, no Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, interesting, why is that? Um, we probably, it's based on God and Christ. Okay. And that's our focus, what we try to keep it on. So this is the new section? Yeah, this is the okay. new section. Okay. We have Great. our coat racks, the cubbies, and then we line up in here. Got your books? We got our books, all okay. books. Okay. And so you've been a teacher here for how long? Six years. Six years, okay. Mm -hmm. But the Amish have drifted some in, let's say, the last 10 years. And I'm guessing some of those that are in power 
want to really buckle down and it's it will cause some problems. How have they drifted? Probably technology wise. Okay. Kids want to get on phones, devices, yeah. social media. Mm-hmm. It it will come in here. It will. Is it has it come in now to this point? It's starting to trickle in or it's coming quickly? Uh, it's it's coming quickly. What would you say, Brian? Yeah, I'd i I'd say my short life and I've seen it too. Mm-hmm. And Brian's the most wonderful guy on the planet, but he doesn't want to be on camera, so I'm not gonna turn the camera. But Brian brought us in here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, so it's, it, that's interesting. So you're dealing, you're, though you're in your own bubble to some degree, there's no way you can keep out the forces, the force of the way the world is going around you. Not, not really. Okay. What I've seen in my lifespan is you basically everybody has to decide among themselves. I mean, the church is the church. Okay. We have our guidelines, but everybody has to decide where am I going to be? Um, what I see is my children coming after me. Mm-hmm. Where do I want them to be in 30 years from now, 20 or 30 years? How will this progress? What am I? They're all following my steps. Where do you want them to be? I, that's a good question. I want them to be a follower of Jesus. Okay. And that's the most important thing that I have a concern is them to really be a follower of Jesus and God, be respectful of building members of the community. I see dangers with technology. And so far I've really tried to shun away from it. Okay. Okay. So you guys having more kids right now? We are not. As of my the family. Amish. No, no, you personally. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> the, the Amish people are having more, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So are these schools filling up? You're creating more schools? Yes, yes. About um, every year, uh, an average of five new school houses are built through all of the community. Because of, in well, Holmes Amish, County? Holmes, Wayne, and surrounding counties. Okay. But they are expanding out into other counties too. And do most of them do it this style? One one room style basically yes why is that why do you want to keep everyone in the same room that's a good question (laughs) (laughs) history tells us and they've tried it already once you get bigger schools you need more parents and more teachers Mm -hmm. it's just harder to keep everything uh, peaceable okay that's what i'm seeing so this is way more manageable just having everyone under one roof in the the jurisdiction is not far around here. Like, how far do no. kids come to the school? Most of them are a mile away. Are they, mile walk, are they walking? Walking or some use bicycles. No school bus. No school bus. So what's the story with the lights? That's a uh, natural gas light. Okay, so all the lights are natural gas? Yes, we started out as that, but last year we put, in a, put on a solar panel and we have uh, one, two, three battery lights in here. Okay, so through religion it says you can't use any power wired power in but you can use solar power or yes. mm, or gas that's a church or... guideline okay that's a we've church always, guideline we've always shunned away from uh, the electric from the lines okay why is that but do you know probably start out away from television electric appliances okay. and we believe in really in having a home body everybody's a home you're fantastic. This is all, it's probably really boring questions for you, but it's, oh, no. it's no. interesting for me. Some of them make me really think you. That's why I look at Brian. <laughs> Brian, doesn't Brian don't either. look at the camera. Don't look this way, Brian. No, you're fine. Right. Oh, Brian's in. Brian's in. Let's go out here. Is this the playground? <laughs> this is the playground. Okay. Normally, this is all mowed, and we have our bases set up down here. This is one of the worst school playgrounds in the area. Okay. A lot of them are flat, open. You got a basketball hoop court here? Yep. They do know some LeBron James. That name pops up. It comes in the paper. But <laughs> none of them can jump so high. Yep. Swing sets down there. School bell. Yep. Got the old Classic school, school bell. bell. There. Every morning at 8 o'clock, we ring it a couple times. And that's an old tradition. We had this cute little outhouse. Well, 
It's not so cute, especially not in the winter time when it's uh, 10 degrees, you have to go. It's snowy, it, we'll just put it very simply, it doesn't take long. Okay, so no but. one's holding up the bathroom, but what's the, what's the, what are the rules behind this, having an outhouse at school? It's an Amish thing, obviously. It is. It's an old thing. They started out years ago with outhouses and the schoolroom. Or, but now the new ones, most of them have indoor plumbing and have them in the basement. Okay. So okay. these are kind of gradually going out. There are different churches through here, and some of them are lower than others, and some they all sent to the same school. Mm -hmm. so basically, we keep them... Um, so everybody's happy. Okay. So it's. So you think this is phasing out in ten years? This won't be here. There'll be a toilet inside. There's a good chance. Okay. Good chance. Yeah. But then, correct me if I'm wrong here. But the very religious Amish, some of the old order, will say, "No, this is our tradition. We need to keep it this way." There will be some. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they're changing some. I mean, mm -hmm. every home has an indoor. Yep, plumbing. So it's just a matter of time before the schools have them. It's in good condition. Yeah. Uh, on the outside, the inside, summertimes it can get a little smelly. Yeah, yeah. But it Some does flies. the job. It's not this one of our highest points of interest. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> Baseball field. Is that baseball? Yep, softball. Softball. Different type of love. Okay. So you're saying the longer your marriage has gone on, the better, the deeper the love gets. I would say so. Okay. Getting relationship advice out here too. Good advice. And teeter-totters. These are, these are pretty aggressive teeter-totters. They are. <laughs> like you could, do, you could do damage with these. Yeah. <laughs> they need some supervision on here. Uh, they, they do good. Those cherry bumps allow. Cherry bump is when you slam down and the, yeah, the other Ooh. person flies, right? That's what Brian was bad at, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Brian was banned from the playground? Yeah. I really don't know, but just knowing him, I'd say he was one of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging around him today. I can already yeah. get that vibe from him. Yeah. Troublemaker. There, there I let it out. <laughs> Brian, get away from the camera. Get away, Brian. It's <laughs> getting closer and closer. We work with the government. We have to, every month, we have to fill out non-attendance forms, mm -hmm. mark everything. We have to do safety drills. We have to do fire drills. And we, we have state guidelines to go by. The feedback that we've gotten from them, they have told us, don't change anything. We're happy with what you're doing. All right. So they are happy, we're happy. So we'll, we'll try and be respectful and do what we can. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> do you thank left you. hand shake? Is that a, is that a negative thing? Some Not cultures really. it is. Some people say left hand for crooks. Oh. So that's a joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Little, little insight to what Amish schools are like here in Holmes County, Ohio. What are we doing? Okay. Left hand. All right, okay. left hand. All right. Okay, Very until good. the next one. Did you have a ride already? First time. <laughs> Come. Could you imagine living in a city? I can't imagine the stress. <laughs> I just, I probably didn't. What advice would you have to give to the outside world? Maybe we should be learning from them. These days, no. Good. I've been eating pie every day. Oh, every day. You read a lot. Yeah. What do you guys like to read? You guys are so in your own world here. Probably too much, so. <laughs> 30,000 acre plus. We try not to depend on government. We take care of our own. Didn't have any buggy ride. No. Maybe we should hitch up and go for a ride. Let's do it. The horses know what the stop yeah. is? And they know which way to stop. Parking zone. You lock your doors on your house? One more chance. Oh! <laughs>